we have integral of 1 over this crazy quantity x squared times x to the fourth plus 1 to the 3 fourths. Now, if this was x cubed, we can, we can figure this out immediately. We can let this be u, and our du is going to be 4 times x cubed. So you can use that to figure out our answer pretty quickly. But it's not x cubed, it's x squared. Moreover, this, this x to the fourth plus 1 term is being raised to 3 fourths power, which is very annoying. So how can we even start this? Well, we can think about letting our x to the fourth plus 1 be u, as I said, but du is going to be 4x cubed dx, and that's very hard to relate this quantity with, with x squared, because u is x to the fourth plus 1, so x to the fourth is u minus 1, and our x squared becomes plus or minus square root of u minus 1, and, that, and that's, that's just crazy. I'm, I don't think I want to go that way. So, uh, what, are there anything else we can try? Huh. Well, we know x to the fourth plus 1, this enclosed expression, is being raised to 3 fourths power. So if we, can, if we can somehow write this inside as some function of u, you're going to have integral of, let's say, du, and you have some function of u being raised to 3 fourths power. So maybe we can have another expression of u, another expression of u using this x squared. We can make another expression of u to the 3 fourths power, and maybe we can factor the 3 fourths powers out and do things with it. And, hmm, that sounds okay, but, but even if that's possible, I mean, is that even possible? Can we somehow change this x squared to u to the 3 fourths? And what is, the, what is going to be the substitution? And you gotta even consider what dx is going to change to. Huh, this, this looks very tough. So why don't we try letting u be x to the fourth, since we have that in the denominator to begin with. So let's say u is x to the fourth, then du is 4x cubed, and what else can we do? We know u to the one fourth power is x, just using this. So we know, let's differentiate this, uh, we, we have du, but let's try differentiating this part too. Maybe that's going to tell us more about what's going on. So differentiating it like this gets us 1 over 4 u to the negative 3 fourths, du is dx. Hmm, why don't, why don't we try going with this and see where that takes us? So we have integral of our dx, the same thing as 1 fourth u to the negative 3 fourths du, and our x squared in this case is going to be, our x squared is going to be u to the 1 half, u to the 1 half, and we have u plus 1 cubed. And you have u to the 3 fourths and u to the 1 half, and u to the 3 fourths is coming out. So that's integral of du over u to the 1 half, u to the 3 fourths, u plus 1, to the 3 fourths. And is this is this 3 fourths? That's u to the 1 half plus 3 fourths, which is not 3 fourths. That's 5 fourths. We are so close. Huh, if this if this was 3 fourths, maybe we can factor 3 fourths out and do things with what's left. But that's that's not happening. So maybe this was not the way to go. Maybe we were wrong from the beginning. And this is what's so much fun about integration. Differentiation, all you have to do is follow a set of rules and not mess up to arrive at an answer. It's very straightforward, step by step for differentiation. But for integration, it's sometimes not even possible. And even if it is possible, you gotta try out various methods and usually fail along the way until you reach the right steps. So u to the x to the fourth u equals to x to the fourth got us pretty far, but uh, it wasn't close. It, it was pretty close, but it wasn't precise. So maybe u to equals to x to the negative four is going to get us something. So well, let's try this. In this case, u to the negative one fourth is x to the first, or just x. So we have negative one fourth differentiating this, u to the negative five fourths du, is dx. So let's try making a substitution. So we have integral of dx, which is negative 1 fourth, let me just bring that out, uh, u to the negative 5 fourth du, and u to the negative 5 fourth, I can bring it down even. So let's do that. 1 over u to the negative 5 fourth 
du and you have x squared becoming well our x is u to the negative one fourth so our x squared is u to the negative one half so times u to the negative one half and this thing should be plus five to the fourth because you had u to the negative five to the fourth and that's coming down so you have u to the positive five to the fourth times u to the negative one half times x to the fourth is same thing as x to the fourth is u to the negative one multiplying both sides by raising both sides by negative first power so you have u to the negative one plus one to the three fourths let's continue along with this u to the negative u to the five fourths times u to the negative one half is u to the five fourths minus one half or u to the three fourths and we have it we have u to the three fourths and u minus one plus one to the three fourths that's amazing let's factor the three fourths out negative one fourths times integral of we have du and you have u and you have u to the negative one plus one all raised to the three fourths power now this seems promising let's continue you have negative one fourths integral of u to the negative one is same thing as one over u u times one over u is simply one simply one and u, ti u times one is u to the three fourths and we are just so close so close to getting this so our v let's let our v b1 plus u so our dv is du so we have in we have one fourth dv over v to the three fourths and you can do this one you have v to the negative three fourths so if you integrate this you're going to get v to the negative three fourths plus one or v to the one fourth and you want to divide by the same thing and so you have negative one fourth times the same thing as four times v to the one fourth so 4 times v to the 1 fourth plus c, fourths cancel out. You have negative v to the 1 fourth plus c. And we can simplify this. Our v was 1 plus u. So you have negative 1 plus u to the 1 fourth plus c. And our u, our u was, let's go back. Our u was, our u was x to the negative 1 fourth. So our u was x to the x to the negative four. My bad. Our u was x to the negative four. We have it right here. U was x to the negative four. So let's go back. So this is this thing simplifies to negative one plus x to the negative four to the one fourth, and you have plus c, and we are done. So negative one plus x to the fourth. So you, this integral turns out to be turns out to be negative 1 plus x to the negative fourth to the one fourth power plus constant of integration.